All right, guys. We'll get to removing the radiator and the condenser. So let's take this rod out. So we take this off of here. So we're using a Near nose pliers. We'll be taking the harness off of the, this bracket. This is the upper support bumper bracket. So let's take the prop rod out. So guys, these are some 10 millimeter screws I'm taking out. So this is a lock support bracket. We're gonna remove this. Disconnect our horn. millimeter so now right on top of the radio support is bolt in with a, some 12 12 millimeter bolts and 
And these are the lock support brackets, the hood lock support brackets. These are some 12 millimeter bolts. All right, so we have this is a stair. Lock support bracket stair. More stuff is some 12 millimeters. Up, oh, yep. So we got to get this harness off of here. Every day with the needle nose pliers. So this is a lock. It's a cable. The cable is still good. So we replace these, these brackets here and buy some new locks. These brackets will replace these. Some of the stuff, wherever we can salvage, we'll salvage. The cable. So the cable is still good. So we don't have to do nothing with this cable. It's still good. We can use that back. And then send it ready to come out together. So you see guys, this is one unit together. So this is the red support now we gotta get out. Probably bolting. Oh yeah, got some 12 bolts under here. So we got two 12 bolts. 
under here that hole in the where this support in place. So guys, as you can see, the belt was stripped. So what we're removing here is the, guys, as you can see, is the radius support that we try to get out. It's fiberglass, we're holding by some bolts on the bottom. So guys, see this is the radius support is already busted up, so we can finish pull it out. It's already um busted up so can afford to break it up. So under normal circumstances if it was so good ready to support we would have to take that the bumper bar off. That's why you gotta go back in. You gotta set the rails up straight. So I'm gonna give a close up look of what's going on down here. All the belts that strip. Let's cut this out. So guys, let me just give you a close-up look at what's going on down here. So that's the front part of the motor. So as you can see, the belt has stripped so we got to cut this out we're gonna get all this stuff out of here so we got a better assessment of what's going on with the motor it runs. We want to get all this stuff out of here. See the belt.
So you got to be careful when you're pulling this stuff because it cut your hand. So we're going to wash out down here. So this, so you see this pulley here, like it's bent. No, it's not even bent, but it, it chipped right here. So we got to change this on um, power steering pump because it would, it would cut the belt. When you put on a new belt, Right, so we would just put a buy a used power steering pump on here. So we got to buy a power steering line. This line right here is busted. Because this went in and rested on the pump. This power steering line right here. So we disconnect that right off to the rack, right through the rack. We do that when we put a we put the corner lift and do that. But as far as the tensioner is good. So this idle pulley is good. Making a little noise, the bearing. So, my God, just change this. Yeah, we we'll change this. The AC compressor is good. The damper, right here, the crankshaft pulley, that's good. This other idle pulley here is good. This other pulley right here is good. The alternator is good. So the only thing that in question here is the the power steering pump, and that's because the if we could get the the pulley, we could change this pulley because the pump is good. There's no damage on the pump. So that's a good thing. If we could get this pulley, we could change this pulley right here. If not, we just, just change the pump. So, so far, it looks good. So let me give a close-up shot of the rails and what we gotta do. So you can come along with the pulling process. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a shot of the rails. All right. This is the rails right here. Because you can see they have a buckle right here. So we still need to pull that rail forward, over, and forward. So when we make the first initial pull and pull it over, see it cracks. So what we got to do, we got to just weld this back and dolly it up. So it's not too bad. And on this side, this is the rail on this side. It just swing over. Yes, this piece here come out of the, um, come from up in the, the, up in the chassis, so it's not too bad. And then we just got a, a little dent right here. We got a dent right here. That's nothing. We can knock that up, knock that back in from the back, straighten that up. These right here, we'll, we'll, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna straighten these. You know, I mean, I could buy, I could buy these right here. So I might end up buying the toe of these and change them out. Yeah, so we got a nice clean finish right here. 
So that's it, guys, for the reel. And then this is the bottom of the subframe right here. So these pieces here, these pieces here, they just bolt onto the subframe. This is the extension of the subframe that come up on the ready, ready to rest on this. So all that there, that's just one piece right here. So that that's a separate piece by itself. So it's not too bad. Stay tuned for the process, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys.